guys and welcome back to one new tutorial of asp.net series and in this series we are going to see that how we can create a login page using the database and how we can retrieve the information and validate it so let's start the tutorial so here i have visual studio 2017 and i'm using sql server 2014 management studio so i have created a database called youtube so in the tables we will create a table and let's enter first field that is id it will be decimal and not null so we will create it as a primary key and here from down we can keep it as auto increment because we will not enter that values so it is auto incremented by one the second will be username let us back 50 and password where care 50 here it will be where care 50 and not now so this is our uh, column names and here we will name it as login details and we will save it so our uh, table is created named uh, login details and with three values three columns that is id username and password so now we will move back to our visual studio and we will create if you have not created a project just create a project if you have created uh, just right click on, uh, on your project name add and here we will add a web form because we are making it is an asp.net application so here we will add a web form let's name it as login so here you can see that uh, login.aspx file uh, yes it is a aspx file because we are writing our front end logic on it if you want to design uh, simply using the design view from down here you can use the design view so just uh, inside from toolbox you need to just uh, let's enter a label name the label as username and enter a text box for it So here in source you can see that uh, username label and uh, xbox is created just simply copy it again paste it so here you can see uh, one for username and one for password and now here at the end we will add a button So you can see uh, that our uh, simple basic design is created. I am not using any type of CSS or any type of graphic files. I am just simply creating it for uh, using the basic controls, drag and drop. So now double click on the button. So automatically uh, void button and one underscore click will event will, uh, logic will be created in our login.aspx.cs file. Uh, and when you will move to the source of that you can see that here on click event is created in the button let's name it as login so here first we need to do is uh, first let's import some of uh, the libraries which we are using using system dot configuration uh, let me zoom so you can see then using system dot data dot sql client using system dot data 
for now we will and now what we will do is we will create a string to string object to get the username and the password which is entered by the user so first is for username is equal to text box one dot text and the same for string password is equal to text box two dot text so we have get got the username and the password from the user input now we will create a try catch block Now here first we will uh, get our we will create uh, before this try catch block we will create one string to get the connection string for the database so we will create a string str on you can name it anything so now it is configuration. connection strings here uh, you can see that here it is connection strings not connection string uh, the name of your connection string uh, this this name YouTube is in our web.config file when we are creating a connection string you can see in my the registration page video the link is in description you can go and see it how to make a connection string in web.config file dot connection string so here you can see that the difference is here it is connection string and here it is connection strings so just uh, note it down because you might get error due to this now in our try catch block we will create a sql connection object that is con is equal to new SQL connection object and we will pass our connection string object string so you can see that we have passed str con connection string object in our connection object now we will write our SQL query that is string SQL is equal to you can name it as any of the object not SQL you can name it your name ABC anything string uh, now we will select star from login details so here you can see that our database uh, table name is login details just uh, check it uh, if you are not uh, you you do not have any spelling mistakes so login details where username is equal to our username that we got from user input and password is equal to password so uh, this username is our uh, table field name that is this one and this username is the user input this one same for password now uh, now we will create a sql command object cmd is equal to new sql command and we will pass two object here first is our sql string and second is our connection object. So our SQL command is also ready. Now what we will do is we will create a SQL data reader dr is equal to cmd. It is our command object dot execute reader. And now what we will do is if condition that is if dr dot read then and else condition. 
so now what this state is uh, if our uh, statement after our dr reader is reading something then uh, we will simply do is response dot redirect uh, say let's create a new page add web form success let's enter a h1 tag success so what we will do is uh, we will redirect it to suc dot aspx that which we have created so it is uh, right credentials and if it is wrong if it moves to else part we will again response dot redirect it to login dot aspx that means you have do not enter a uh, valid credentials and you are again you need to login it so one more thing is after this we will need to open the connection and after completion we will need to close the connection because if the connection is not open uh, you your asp.net website can't connect to the database and you will not you will get a connection object error so uh, let's do one thing that is we need to enter some dummy data inside it so let's explore it right click edit top 200 rows let's enter id 1 let's enter username it is youtube and password again youtube admin admin so we have entered two details uh, one is youtube and youtube uh, as a username and password admin admin as a username and password so that we can check both of that if uh, if we enter anything else then this two uh, values then we will get error let's check our code is it working or not Uh, you can press F5 to execute or you can just simply go on top of this and press on the green play button to execute. So you can see that our uh, page is running on a local host. Uh, you can see that it is login.aspx so here we have uh, two of them let's enter uh, that is ketu and ketu click login so you can see that it is redirecting us to the login page again now let's uh, enter admin admin so you can see that it is redirecting to a success on admin and admin again let's check for youtube and admin so you can see that it is again redirecting us to the login and same as youtube and youtube so you can see that it is on the success page uh, you can see that it is in the plain text you just simply need to do is go to your login.aspx uh, go to your this tab text mode is equal to password refresh it and it is password so this is how you can create a login page using the database uh, in asp.net application if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more tutorials if you are getting any problem in executing this code or 
in any part of this code just comment down below i will try to get back to you soon as much as as much soon as possible thank you for watching